Hey, it's John of Chicago South SEO and Website Services. Uh, right now I am logged into the WordPress dashboard, but I want to talk to you today about backing up your WordPress website. One of the worst things that can happen to any site owner is running into a situation where there's a server crash at the ISP hosting level, your web hosting company, and for some reason, through some unforeseen circumstance, you lose your website. Now, hosting companies do back up their servers uh, over and over again, and they have backups for backups, but every once in a while, there is something that happens, or there's something that can happen, and it could cause you to lose your website. And if you don't have the proper backup, or you don't have your own backup, then you are SOL. There's no way to restore that. Not only that, you could be working in your website or working in your your database that's attached to your WordPress website and as a result cause your website not to function anymore. So I want to talk about uh, backups. Now when I talk about backups, I'm not talking about just copying files. But what I'm talking about is copying files in such a way that they become one compressed file. And that one compressed file can either sit on a local on your hard drive or a backup drive you have, or it can sit on an online server up in the cloud, so to speak. Um, the beautiful thing about WordPress is that WordPress uses a WordPress can use plugins to perform backups, and plugins are just little programs that you can install in WordPress that give it additional functionality. Now, two of the backup plugins that I like best are the WPDB backup and the backup WordPress plugins. Now, the WPDB backup, I'll just click the screen here is a backup that's considered an on-demand on demand backup for your WordPress database. Um, I've used it before and I like it. The only drawback with this particular plugin is that it only backs up your database or database tables, but it doesn't back up your entire site. But if uh, that's not an issue with you, um, and also the fact that all of your data for the most part sits all your content and things like that sit in the database then this is one you can use uh, the one that I am I am very high on though is the backup WordPress plugin and this is one that not only backs up the database tables but it also backs up the site the CSS uh, and everything that goes with that all the code um, both uh, allow you to email backups to you to yourself. They also allow you to, as I was saying, to uh, email yourself copies. Both allow you to download copies. Um, but as I said before, what I like about backup WordPress is the fact that it not only does the database, but it also does the it, it does the entire site. Now I'm going to go back to the dashboard and I'm going to click on plugins and I'm going to give you a quick preview of what the uh, backup WordPress uh, plugin looks like. Now I can get to this plugin by clicking backup, backups or I can simply come to tools click on tools and I can click on backup. Either way should get you there. Um, the one thing about uh, the backup WordPress uh, plugin there are a few settings um, you can set uh, you can set it to do automatic backup, or you can set it to do no automatic backup. You have the ability to backup daily, weekly, uh, fortnight, fortnightly. I'm not sure what that is, or monthly. I tend to backup weekly or monthly, depending on the site. Um, you also can give it the option to just backup files or database only, or you can backup everything. You can also give it the option or tell it how many backups that you want to store on the server. 10 is quite a bit. Um, that's the default setting. I usually don't back up any more than seven or seven days. So in my case, I would change this to seven. Um, whatever changes you make, you want to save it. Um, but if you have already made your setting changes and you needed to make a backup, you would just click on backup now. And that's going to run and it's going to create an archive file or a zipped or compressed file of your database and when that's done it's going to if I'm correct 
this should prompt you to <clears throat> excuse me to refresh the screen and once you refresh the screen it should show uh, it should show you that your database has been created now I'm gonna pause here and I'm going to allow for this to run then I'll come back to the video okay I'm back the backup has been created uh, the message says that one backup has been created it gives the date it gives the size of the file and it gives you the option on whether or not you want to download that file directly to your hard drive or an external drive and it shows the directory that it was created in the online directory and that's basically all to that I'm gonna click back on the dashboard I'd like to end at the dashboard uh, that's basically um, the two uh, two WordPress uh, backup plugins that I like that's how you go about uh, creating a backup using uh, the one I like the most backup backup WordPress and that's all to it uh, do you ever have any questions certainly feel free to send me an email at uh, my website chicagosouthseo.com or just comment uh, at the bottom of this video if there is a comment section that's it uh, take care and have a great day